So I'm going to drop a nuke on town remastered. And what, what is happening? I guess we'll go with this. So we're going for assault. That means we get the tactical nuke. I believe we need to get like 2,500 kills to actually unlock it. But oh, this is just so cool. I mean... Oh, it's even got like the Modern Warfare HUD thing. It's been updated a lot since the last time I saw it. What? We just have like custom insta kills. That's cool. It's one of the most popular mods on the entire like Black Ops 3 workshop. And for some reason, I've just never played it. What is this over here? We've got some kind of a... Oh, you can buy perks. Interesting. Danger close. The headshot sound effect or the hit markers. Ooh. That's clean. Wave two, wave two instead of round two. I wonder if this tactical knife is going to be a one hit. Only one way to find out. It is not tragic. But I mean, we can knife it kind of fast. So what do we want to do? Where is the box? It's in there. It's been a while since I've played town, actually. Wall guns, we've got <laughs> the M14 next to the M14. All right, fair enough. Another perk over here this is lightweight. Oh, so secondary perks don't use perk slots. Ah, okay, so it's probably the same as stamina because it's in the same place as well, but interesting. God, that sound is just, it's so good. I know some people really don't like hit markers in zombies, which I can understand why. The first zombies game to have them is, wait, actually, what is the first zombies game to have them? I guess Cold War, maybe? What have we got here? One man army. Is this blocking me from... Oh, I can't go in there anyway. It's a different town remastered that you can do that. One man army just means you... Does that deal more damage, I'm guessing? Here's the thing. I'm very uncultured when it comes to Modern Warfare because I've never really played any of the games except Modern Warfare 3, the original one. And I played a bit of Modern Warfare 2, the 2022 one. I hate having to describe it that way. But anyway, let's go and uh, buy a gun before we get absolutely destroyed. Does the uh, survive longer to unlock this feature? What is that? Why is the infinite warfare magic wheel just in the corner? <laughs> okay. All right, well, we got the mystery box. Just like standard zombies, we got self-revive, which costs nothing. I'll pick that up. I like that little animation. Give me the gun, please. Please give me the gun. Please give me the gun! I'm dead. Oh, that's tragic. I suppose that's what I deserve, really, though, isn't it? What is that drop? Rangers? This isn't the ranger. It's a use as... I think it glitched. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. We've got a double points. Boom, boom. Easy peasy. I'm... <laughs> Fucking God, what? You see the range on that guy? Get a knife in there. Oh, I like that knife animation. Okay, so, oh, it's 500 now, no longer free. Oh, I lost my chance. So it allows us to, wait, possess every perk simultaneously? What was that? Well, that's cool. I mean, we want to go and get Juggernaut. Some people call it Juggernaut, which is funny, but in the Modern Warfare universe, it is actually called that, which I guess it came before Juggernaut, didn't it? It's COD 4, I suppose. We've got a riot shield, survive longer, wave 19? Good God, at that point, why even have the shield on the map? Also, I'm not going to lie, this Usaz is not doing that much. It's not even a one shot. Wait. <laughs> oh, unlucky bros. Sorry to see you got stuck. Well, I'll just pretend that didn't happen. Well, I'm guessing we're going to buy the mystery box again. What is that? Oh, a max ammo. Nice. Let's do the test. Does it reload? Yeah, it does. Huge. Pew, 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 pew. Insta kill. Nice. God, there's so many zombies. This is wave four. I really thought the wave was over. I'd love to pick up Jug in a second, but I think safety first. Ooh, the CM901. This looks like it looks similar to the Scar almost. Wait, this reload animation. This reminds me of a gun from Call of Duty Ghosts. I want to say the RX9000 or something. So I'm guessing that's where they took it from because it would have been in this originally. I am never going to get tired of that headshot sound effect. Holy moly. And I do actually like seeing the kills pop up on the screen as well. It's kind of satisfying adds a little bit of i don't know positive reinforcement is that the right phrase who knows i like how the gun is purple as well does that mean we have weapon rarities or is that just like it's a good gun kind of thing magic wheel is now unlocked okay cool oh we could actually afford jug so what does the magic wheel do give a random reward or penalty um, you know, to be on the safe side, maybe we hold off. Part of me wants to, but I also don't want to just down if that's one of the options. I'm going to do the safe thing and buy Jug. If you hold the scoreboard, it tells you what the perks do as well, which is quite cool. Faster health regen would also be nice. Can we buy Juggernog again, or is that just saying that it's still there? I think there are ways you can actually upgrade every single perk that's in the game. I have no idea how many there are, but every single one that's in the Modern Warfare universe, pretty much. Which is <laughs> got to be quite a lot. Oh, hey, there we go. The actual, the Rangers this time. Now, I may not have played the original Modern Warfare 2, but I do know how OP the Rangers are. I've seen many a clip of them just absolutely destroying on multiplayer. Do we try and pack a punch? I'm wondering if that's our next option. What perk is this? Exchange current primary weapon for another random weapon. Wait, what? 
I can... Oh, and then overkill is just mule kick. That's a very strange perk, but okay. So basically it's like gun game or no, like just the gun changes every round kind of. I think I'd rather stick with the class I have, you know, but what's this? Slows nearby enemies when hit. Consecutive headshots increase bullet damage. And over here we've got our ah, stopping power, increase bullet damage, and then double tap, increase rate of fire. The original double tap, because a lot of people don't realize in World at War when double tap was added, it was taken from COD 4 Modern Warfare. Because, you know, we're talking 2007 when COD 4 came out or whatever. So it's, you know, it's a perfectly valid thing. It was 15, 16 years ago when that came out. The newer generation of Zombies fans probably have no idea about that, you know? But I want to buy both of them, to be honest. Here we go. Stopping power acquired. New pro perk. Get kills with bullet weapons. Okay. So I'm guessing that's to upgrade stopping power. And then we've got press one for double tap. Hey, let's go. It's kind of like double tap from World at War. So it's not as good, but it's still like, it's nice to have. Move faster reload while sprinting. Oh, hell yeah. I will happily take that. Give me lightweight. New pro perk challenge, reload while sprinting. Well, that's uh, easy enough. Reload, done. I'm assuming I have to do it quite a lot. I do like how the perks stack up on the bottom though. So to get a nuke, we need 2,500 kills. Now, before I attempted to do this video, I didn't realize how many that actually is. We're gonna have to get to like round 40, which, you know, I'm sure with all the perks that are given to us, it's not super impossible. Hello, last zombies, there we go. For some reason, the last zombie on this map doesn't sprint. Uh, sprint longer and no fall damage. You know, I'll actually buy that. Doesn't take up a slot as well. Moab power up added to rotation. What was that? Is the Moab just the same as the tactical nuke? Ooh, this knife animation. Is the knife animation changing or is it just, it's just for sli the slice like that? Got a max ammo. We've not even been in there yet. That's a good point. Let's open the door just so we can have a look. So what is it? Reload twice as fast. Oh, sleight of hand. See, another perk. People used to call speed color sleight of hand. Because again, it was originally in COD 4. It was nice just going back and seeing, I guess, the origins of the original perks, you know? Sadly, there's no way to see how to upgrade the perks while in game because that would be some helpful information. Bouncing Betty or Claymores. I'm going to open up this door because last time I played this map, I forgot to do it. Somehow. Hello? Come on. Come on. Nope. Okay, never mind. You can't do it on this map, I guess. But yeah, let's pick up Sleight of he Hello? Oh, do I don't have another slot. Well, hopefully we get more as the game progresses then. Otherwise, I just can't get Speed Cola. I suppose that's fair. I mean, we sh now we should actually save up the Packer Punch, which we have enough, but I'll do it at the end of the round. Safety first. Is the USAS even good right now? No, it is not. Oh, it's bad. What did we get? Is that an RPD or what is that? Oh, the PKM. I mean, it's a purple LMG. So, don't mind if I do. Anything works, really, as long as it can kill. Oh, just look at all those kills stacking up, though. Isn't that just so satisfying? Perk milestone reached. Kill, get consecutive kills while something. I missed that. I think that was our juggernaut perk upgrading. Or it got to, like, 10% of the way, which is cool. Let's pack a punch this. The malevolence. Oh, my God. Look at that camo. I really like that. I assume this is one of the mastery camos from one of the recent Modern Warfare games, but who knows. High alert. Vision pulses where enemies are flanking from. Well, it doesn't use a perk slot, so I mean, we may as well just pick up a bunch of these secondary perks. It's either that or spend more money on Pack-a-Punch. Or I guess the mystery box. Precision airstrike? Ooh, okay. I will, I'll call in a precision airstrike. What the fuck? So you're gonna... Oh, <laughs> wait, they all got... What? <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, it didn't kill that many to be fair, but that is still very cool. God damn. Well, that's the round. We get extra points for surviving the round as well. Perk milestone reached. Sprint over a long distance. 20%. Oh yeah, we have a, a door in here. I haven't even gone in because the Wonder Fizz used to be here. We've got C4s. Random primary perk and a random secondary perk. Sure. Cold-blooded. Why not? Range of time, baby. It kills with bullet weapons. Yeah, that's our stopping power one, almost upgrading. Quarter of the way there. To be honest, this is exactly what old zombies was missing. What the fuck did I just pick up? A Moab. Oh, it's a nuke drop. Right. That makes sense. Like a standard tactical, no, no, not a tactical nuke, you know, a, a zombies nuke. But this is what zombies has been missing, is some way of progressing while mid-game, whether that be upgrading perks, which I think that's a perfectly reasonable idea, going towards kill streaks. I mean, they tried to do it in Cold War with the, the uh, you can actually get 
kill streaks and stuff. The chopper gunner is pretty cool. Buying death machines and flamethrowers. I'm not exactly complaining about all that, but zombie counter enabled. Oh, nice. So when we have less than 24 zombies, we can actually see how many there are. Very neat. I like that. Expend bullets. <laughs> Another. Okay, fair enough. It's hard to like keep on top of everything. I guess we'll just wait and see. Sprint over a long distance. So if I just keep on sprinting around the map constantly, I guess we're going to upgrade. Hey, there we go. See, 23 enemies remaining. The HUD is, it's not too big, to be honest. It's still, compared to Black Ops 4, can we all agree it's a lot better? I mean, BO4's HUD is just a bit of a joke, really, isn't it? And it's funny because they actually showed the pre-alpha version of Black Ops 4, and the HUD in that looked so much better. I don't understand why they changed it, but it is what it is. One enemy remaining. Since the zombie is, for some reason, walking quite slow, I'm going to go and get some more perks. Uh, random. Oh, quick draw. Okay, what does that do? Aim down sights faster. Steady aim. What's this? Increases hip fire accuracy. Marksman. Consecutive headshots increase bullet damage. I was actually going to pick that up anyway. Nice. Double points at the end of the round. Can't escape it no matter what mod or map I play. Overkill. Um, I would love to know how, what that is, but carry an additional primary weapon. Okay. Perk limit has been increased. Oh, let's go. I was really hoping it would. We have so many perks at the bottom of the screen though. Jesus. I can go and pick up sleight of hand in a minute. Pew, 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 pew. pew and a pew. All right, now we can buy it. Give me that. I love how it makes the whole screen go dark. Very strange. Is that giving me invulnerability when I purchase things or? Oh, look at that. I should have got speed color ages ago. Oh my God. Did you see that super sprinting zombie? What the fuck was that? So if we get consecutive headshot kills, I guess we do more damage. I wish original Deadshot had some kind of mechanic where it would do that. Increase explosive fire and projectile damage. And then immune to self damage from explosives. Eh, you know, trading table available. What is the trading table? I'm guessing it's just for multiplayer. If you want to give teammates your weapons. It's kind of nice seeing just how colorful all these perks are. And actually, I just realized one, we're out of ammo. And two, Two, if we buy that anti-explosion damage, wouldn't it help for the fire zombies? Hopefully. I don't know, but we need to get rid of these fucking super sprinters. Don't want to deal with you bastards. Yay, we got a nuke. Let's go. I'll pack a punch this then. Pure killing machine. Nice name. We're at 353 kills. It doesn't seem like a lot because we're obviously on early rounds, but to get 2,500, it will be like round 40. More zombies per round, obviously, the later we get. But I will probably cut out a lot of the later rounds just so it's not boring to watch. Oh, perk limit has been increased. Sure, we'll pick up uh, shell. Sh oh, I'm broke. That's why. <laughs> I was wondering why I couldn't purchase anything. Well, we have an LMG for ammo, but I would like some max ammo soon, would be nice. Oh my god, I'm having flashbacks to, I think, Black Ops 2 with... Oh my god, let's not die. But this red dot site is like my favorite one. Just for standard original red dot. I, I just, I really like it. The newer ones on the Modern Warfare games have been so just kind of meh to look at. I just don't care for them. They usually take up too much of a screen. PhD on town will normally just make you immune to the fire itself. Oh yeah, it does. It makes us invisible when we're purchasing things. That's such a good perk, man. I like that. Okay, well, let's see. Oh, we still take... Damn it. We still... We still take fire damage. God, see, I really want to spin this, but if I just... I'm going to totally die. If I don't do it in this video, I guarantee I will do it sometime when I play this mod. Oh, Max, let's go. I can finally use my other gun now. Although I guess, to be honest, we might as well swap this one out. Let's go for a spin then. Oh, like, oh yeah, I went invisible when I bought the box. Nice. What did we get? I don't know. Carpenter. Oh, brilliant. 24 zombies left. Oh, we got the M16. We can carry an extra gun, to be fair. I'm going to pick it up because notoriously the M16 is pretty broken in Modern Warfare, at least in the multiplayer. So who knows? Oh, a max as well. Let's go. Oh, where was that max like three rounds ago? Now I'm getting two per round. And of course, a double points at the end. Just oh, brilliant. All right. Pack a punch the M16. The Skull Crusher. It only has 400 ammo. That's kind of really bad but perk limit's been increased i mean we could just buy a random like primary perk since the wonder fizz is apparently in this all right let's try out the m16 let's see what it's like because hopefully i mean it should deal damage it's 
it's all right. Burst guns in zombies are a little bit meh though, because kind of like the Reagan Mark II, you know, it's obviously a godly weapon, but you use ammo a lot quicker, which in a way is kind of bad. So you want to make sure all the shots you shoot are killing the zombies. So like you want to kill three zombies with one shot, basically. Pew, 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 pew. I can't see what I'm fucking doing. Extreme Conditioning Pro. Now I have unlimited sprint. Oh, hell yeah. I just got a sentry gun as well. Well, shit. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's a pretty nice upgrade. Get a random primary perk. Hardline. Ooh, that should make it even, yes, lower kill streak requirements. So I think we only need like 2,200 kills now. One man army, sure, we might as well. Hold Q to replace your primary weapon. Oh, so you don't just do it anywhere. Just you do it whenever you want. Thank God. We got the riot shield now as well. Let's go and pick that up. Ooh, a Moab. Sure, why not? Terrible for points, and the kills I don't even think count. So, where the hell am I going? Where is the riot shield? Ah, it's up here. Gimme, gimme. Riot shield. Did it just swap out one of my weapons? Please tell me it didn't. Okay, no, it didn't. Phew, I was, I was very worried that it did. Can't go wrong with the shield. Get kills with your extra weapon. Oh, nice. God, the fucking fire on this map is such a bitch, though. I mean, I, was th I wanted to do this on Call of the Dead. Do not die for the love of all that's holy. Woo. I wanted to do it on Call of the Dead, but unfortunately the map crashed when I tried to run the mod. And speaking of which, they're looking into potentially getting the Reaper's Collection mod to work on Call of the Dead, which if that's true, I'm 100% doing a 50 perk video on it. That would be awesome. Get kills while injured. Oh, okay. At least I'm getting something done for my absolute stupidity. And the zombie is stuck up there. Brilliant. Hopefully that grenade will kill it. Nope, it flew out. Come on, die. Ugh, bastard. Oh, he fell down now. About time, bro. So we can't get any more random primary perks. Let's just keep getting... Scavenger? Recover ammo from kills. That's massive. Cold-blooded pro we now have. We got quick fix. I didn't get time to read that. And then I just got high alert. So what is this? Vision pulses where enemies are flanking from. Oh, so it tells me when there's a zombie right behind me. Well, that's going to be very useful. I'm going to switch to the PKM. Please don't kill me. Oh, God. That's close. This is a lot of fun. It really is. Oh, that fucking headshot sound is just glorious. If I could actually hit headshots, that would help. Yeah, there we go. Juggernaut Maniac. Okay, I'm using this. What is this? Oh. What the fuck? Okay, so please tell me I'm immortal when I'm in this, because that would suck otherwise. Do I just... I just have to... Oh, I can knife very fast. Thank God. What the fuck? But is it only a one-hit knife because of insta-kill? It even played the music, but I turned it off in case of copyright. This is awesome. Carpenter power-up removed from rotation. So I can no longer get carpenters. What if I want a carpenter, though? It, it's fine. I don't. But, you know, that is... That is pretty cool. God, I'm burning. I'm burning. Don't kill me. I do not want to die. I think this was a bad idea. Why did I do this? Oh, shit. Just getting the thing beeping because telling me that there's enemies around me. Yes, I know. Knife, knife. Oh, the fucking explosions. Okay, I think I am immortal. Okay, that's good then. I was going to say that would really suck. Look how many there are. Fucking up. Consecutive kills while unharmed. Kind of difficult with the stupid fire. Got six seconds left. Okay, and back to the PKM. Holy moly. Let's just, let's just camp here for a second. Got a nuke, like a quarter of the way there. Stopping power pro. Let's go. So we do, we get, we get even more damage, I guess. Scavenger, huge. Oh, we got rangers. Ah, it's free. I could just run around. It's free low now. I can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> Holy shit. Can we double pack a punch guns? Oh, we can. Interesting. Uh, I'll do it. I don't really want turned. Anything but turned. What did I get? Think. Oh, explosive bullets. Perk limit increased as well. Nice. Bonus is all around, really. Oh, I've got to reload. I've got to drop down as well, apparently. Oh, fuck. I almost dropped on their heads. That wouldn't have been good. Oh, shit. Don't get me stuck. Oh, move, oh, move, 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 move. Get kills while stationary. I don't really want to do that right now, though. That would require boring gameplay. Steady aim, pro fire weapons, and use equipment while sprinting. Let's go. So satisfying, just slowly upgrading them all. So to know that it's upgraded, it will turn into a little star on the bottom. One enemy left. All right, let's go and spin the box again. I kind of want more LMGs, honestly, because we go out of ammo in our other guns so quick. I mean, now we have Scavenger, of course, so it's not the end of the world. Oh, wait, we have a uh, one-man army. Let's try it. Wait. Press Q. Hold Q. Hey, there we go. Changing primary weapon. 
The Honey Badger. Oh, let's go. I actually love this gun from Call of Duty Ghosts. It might be my favorite gun in all of multiplayer history, like COD multiplayer. And we can just continuously replace our weapon. Oh, just look at that. It's even got a little laser sight. I think it was one of the first guns to ever have a built-in silencer. It's just called the Quiet. I suppose that's fitting. I'm guessing the ray gun is going to be in here somewhere, but let's just, let's just scan and see... The AK-47. Oh, see, I kind of want to pick that up, but middle of the round. Marksman Pro doubles critical damage on enemies. Wait, that's such a good one. What? All of these stacked on top of each other are going to be godly. I wonder if the ranges, though, are going to become quite weak and it's going to be better to not pick them up. I mean, I hope it's like a death machine where it just does unlimited damage, pretty much. What's this? Double points. Gimme, gimme. We even go invisible when we pick up power-ups as well. Look at this. Oh, this might be one of my new favorite mods, honestly. I think I had a couple comments a while back saying to try this out, but I sort of just, I held it off for some reason. I don't know why. Perk limit has been increased. It's just constantly going up. I love it. This is how I wish perk limits were in all the other zombies games, you know? Because having no perk limits right off the bat is broken. Double tap pro, every bullet fired is doubled. That's just, that's so it's actually double tap 2.0. Nice. But having the perk limit just increase as the game goes on, you know, you don't need so many perks early rounds. And if you get them, it kind of just makes it a bit boring. It's a good way of balancing it. If you want to play this mod for yourself, a link will be in the description, of course. Also, how have I not even mentioned it? It's just, I've been so infatuated by this mod, but... Thank you all so much for 50,000 subscribers. Like, there's not really any words I can say to express just how happy that actually makes me. Seriously, thank you so much. Like, if you've watched my videos just for a split second, or if you've watched all of them, either way, you're an amazing person and I appreciate you a lot. And I do have a video planned. I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be yet, but I will 100% get something done. Ooh, Martyrdom. Drop live grenades when down. That could actually backfire very hard, but oh, that's... Let's hope not. I remember it being very bullshit on multiplayer. I'm just going to keep using the honey badger. Although, oh yeah, don't we need to use our third weapon for one of the challenges? Fine, I'll use the M16. <laughs> I do love the M16 as well, you know. Very, very strong gun. Oh my... Look at those headshots. Can't even see what I'm doing. Hardline Pro. Kills count twice toward your streak. Wait. So we could get the nuke very soon then. I want to say like 1,800 kills maybe? What the fuck? That's that's actually really, really big. Cool. Shell Shock. Uh, slows nearby enemies. That's the one that was literally over there, but I didn't pick up. Oh my god. What? Oh, that's for slowing. That literally just showing the perk off immediately. Here we go. Get kills with your extra weapon. We're about 70% done. Do we have any more perk slots? No, we don't. Let's just keep getting Commando. Increases melee damage speed, okay. Deep impact, increases bullet penetration. Oh, and we just got another perk limit. Increase, nice. Ninja, I'm guessing not the streamer. I can enter stealth. Wait, it didn't tell me what button to press, but that's quite cool, just being able to go invisible whenever. Kind of like, um, what's that one? Ability in Cold War, Vanguard, and Modern Warfare Zombies. Fuck, how, how am I blank? Dark ether mode? No. The one that lets you like teleport on Cold War when you fully upgrade it. Someone will know what I mean, but I'm just totally blanking on the name. Ether Shroud. Fucking hell. How could I forget that? Anyway, tap, tap. And that's all my ammo gone there. This one that slows the zombies is a little bit like Electric Cherry, actually. Gets super multi kills, six plus, halfway there. Oh, we're gonna max. Actually, use my M16 again. Oh, it's fully auto. Ah, interesting. I wonder when that change happened. Round done. Nice. Oh, do we have every secondary perk in the game? I guess we do, because I, I can't purchase any more. So we've got five more perks to go, probably, because I imagine it's going to fill up the rows at the bottom. Actually, I'm going to try and train up an entire horde of zombies, and I want to just kill them all instantly. I want to see what the hit marker or like what the kill feed's going to look like. Also, thank God for this riot shield. I don't know if it can break. I assume it can, but definitely coming in handy. But, all right, here we go. Just try and kill as many as possible. That one zombie just managed to go around, but <laughs> that horde was like just... Oh, random perk. I got Stalker. Kills while aiming down sights for the pro challenge. I can't even finish my sentences because so much is happening. This mod is jam-packed with content. Sleight of Hand Pro. Reloading stuns nearby enemies. Oh no, that's like Electric Cherry. Yeah, there we go. But, I mean, I haven't even talked about the fact this mod has multiple game modes. You can play gun game, you can play, like, some multiplayer ones where you speed race for a tactical nuke. There is so much variety, it's actually a bit nuts. 
Oh, danger close pro. Doubles explosive fire and projectile damage. Nice. So if we had a launcher of some kind, that would be very good. Deep Impact Pro, bonus bullet damage to elites and special enemies. Not useful on this map, but if we were doing it on like Origins, that'd be kind of good, you know? God, sometimes I have to take a break to breathe. I talk, I talk so fast. Perk limit increased. Let's go. Kind of have to for commentary though. It's just something you get used to over a while. Uh, can I... Random primary put- I can't get any more. Oh, is that it then? Or can we only get them from three drops? I mean, I'm fine with that, to be honest. We are very overpowered, and I don't know what else we could get. Oh, an insta-kill. Don't mind if I do. Super multi-kill, 75%. Another insta-kill, all right. We can get these kills while stationary, I suppose, just during this insta. I don't really like to camp when playing a mod like this, but if we have something we're actually going towards, then it makes sense. Kills while aiming down sights as well. Nice. I do hip fire a lot in zombies just because it's usually the safest option. All right, just to double check. Nope. Absolutely no more we can get. We have 60,000 points. Good God. Maybe I'll swap out the M16. You know, it's not bad, but just for some variety, perhaps. Oh, and we got a nuke. Perfect. So I can actually pick up whatever I get this time. The MP5. Oh, what was that? You can allow teammates to pick up your guns. I like that. The G3. Yeah, here we go. G3. This gun's supposed to be quite good as well, although it doesn't seem to be that good in this. Dear God, teddy bear. Ooh. I could actually, if I hold down the uh, the one-man army thing, change primary weapon. Come on, hurry up, please. All right, there we go. Oh, the P90 with a suppressor. Okay, I, that doesn't really matter. Might be the most overpowered gun in all of COD history, or definitely in like the top five, that's for sure. Just the P90 has always been so good. Has a ridiculous amount of ammo. Juggernaut Pro increases health even more and reduced flinch. Let's go. And we got Rangers again, and they're still killing, which I like. Kill recently spawned enemies. Interesting. That's a new one. Actually getting me to spawn camp now while we game. I do love these Rangers, but at the same time, they have so much smoke when you fire them that I just I can't see. I'm legally blind. That's a classic meme. But here we go. P90. Let's pack a punch this bad boy. We have most of our perks pro, actually. We're only missing... Oh, never mind. I, I looked at the bottom row and we got like all of them we need. Ooh, we got the yellow version of the camo. I kind of want the green, though. Perk limit has been increased again. Not like that matters. Bullets temporarily stun zombies. Interesting. Well, that's good for slowing things down. I won't lie, this suppressor sounds... A little bit, you know, jarring. <laughs> Maybe we will actually swap this out. We can try out as many guns as we want to, you know. Quick Fix Pro, multi-kills, kickstart health regen, massive. We've got a fire sale. Oh, okay. That would actually be really useful. All right, I'll get a few spins. we got a gun that actually stuns zombies as well. What do we get? The MG4? Eh. They are slow as... But wait, this double packer punch is actually overpowered. They can't move. All right, what did I just get? Oh, uh, the r -Sass. Don't exactly know what that gun is. Oh, I like how to upgrade Scavenger. All we need to do is pick up Scavenger bags. That's kind of, I, I like that. Well, it was nice having your P90, but <laughs> you can't give me a pistol, bro. The CBJMS. This was definitely from Ghosts, I think. The TMP. I don't want a shitty little SMG. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm offending them, but you know, they might be good, but I just want something a bit more substantial, like an Uzi. Not right now, but you know. Ooh, self revive pro range standing instead of going down. Is that like who's who? Interesting, okay. Well, I mean, we're pretty close to getting that tactical nuke, actually. Didn't we get a sentry turret at one point? We did. Oh. Ow. Just got stunned. Go sentry, go sentry. Is it actually killing them? It's. No, it's not. It's barely, it's barely doing any damage, but. I appreciate the, uh, the help. Oh my god. See, if, we, if I wasn't running the Modern Warfare mod, I think I might have died there. Okay, you know, it's actually not doing too bad. It's just it stops firing after a while. Oh, <gasps> we got the tactical nuke. Let's go. That was a lot sooner than I thought. I thought it was going to be like round 40. We only needed 1,500 kills because we got that one perk that just doubles the speed that we get it. We can get the regular nuke. Before I call it in, then, I want to get something else from the box. The M16 again? The RPG. Yeah, fuck it. I'll get an RPG. We've got literally one zombie left. We have PhD, basically, anyway. Flash Parade. Let's go. Let's kill you. Oh, my God. Well, if it's going to end the game, I just want to, I want to use this on a horde of zombies first, and then we'll use it. Look at all these goddamn perks as well. This shell shock perk is nice. Just stunning them randomly when they get too close. I think it's if like too many zombies are near you, but that's just... Oh. <laughs> that is absurd. I don't want to break my game. So let's, let's not kill too many with that. Also, when we fire one shot, 
we actually fire two because of um, the upgraded stopping power or double tap or whatever it is. All right, well, here we go. Call in the tactical nuke. Oh my god. Why am I injecting myself? I don't know. Final moments buff activated. Oh, we have like a PhD slide. Oh, let's go. What the fuck? Well, there we go. Threat neutralized and I got imploded or exploded or I guess both. Either way, I'm dead. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on screen. YouTube says you might like it and I'll see you in the next one.